Objective. To study about neural control and coordination, the ear or phonoreceptor or statoacoustic organ, part one. The ear is the organ for hearing and balancing or equilibrium. Anatomically, the ear is divided into three regions, namely the external ear, middle ear, and inner ear. The external ear. The external ear is derived from the ectoderm. It consists of the pinna or auricle, the external auditory meatus or auditory canal. The pinna is a flap of elastic cartilage covered by skin. It has a specific shape for collecting sound vibrations. The auricular muscles that can move the pinna in many animals are vestigial in human beings. The external auditory meatus is a curved tube that leads inwards and extends up to the tympanic membrane. The external auditory meatus is lined by skin which has fine hair and is also beset with ceruminous glands. The ceruminous glands are modified sebaceous glands. They secrete cerumen or earwax, which prevents the entry of dust and microorganisms. The tympanum is a thin, transparent membrane that lies between the external and middle ear. It is stretched over a bony ring called the annulus tympanicus. The tympanum is made up of three layers. These are the outer layer of skin, a middle layer of connective tissue, and the inner layer of mucous membrane. The middle ear. The middle or tympanic cavity is derived from mesoderm. It is a small, air filled cavity in the temporal bone. The middle ear is separated from the external ear by the tympanum and from the internal ear by a bony partition. This partition has two membrane-covered openings. They are the fenestra ovalis, or oval window, and the fenestra rotunda, or round window. The middle ear contains a chain of three bony ossicles, namely the malleus, incus, and stapes. The malleus is a hammer-shaped bone which is the modified articular of the lower jaw. The incus is the anvil bone which is the modified quadrate of the upper jaw. The stapes or stirrup bone is a fork-shaped bone. It is the modified hyomandibular which is the dorsal element of the hyoid arch. The hyoid arch is the second visceral arch of fishes. The stapes is homologous to the columella oris of amphibians, reptiles and birds. The malleus is attached to the tympanum and its head articulates with the head of the incus. The incus on its other side articulates with the head of the stapes. The stapes fits into the fenestra ovalis or oval window in the bony partition present between the middle and internal ear. The ear ossicles help in the amplification of the sound waves and transmit them to the internal ear. The eustachian tube is an elastic tube that connects the middle ear cavity with the nasopharynx. It helps in equalizing air pressure on either side of the tympanum.